Hello everyone, today I'm here to tell you a little bit about one of my favorite J-drama and shoujo manga series, Hanazukari no Kimitachi, better known in North America simply as Hanakimi. Hanakimi is the story of Ishii Mizuki, a U.S. Japanese student who travels to Japan and makes her way into an all-boys school by disguising herself as a boy so she can get closer and get to know her high school crush, Sano. And as you can tell by the premise, it's something that really sets itself up for a lot of humorous situations. You know, the girl pretending she's a guy to stay in the school, and issues of uh, the friend Nakatsu who ends up being her best friend and then questioning his sexuality because he is falling in love with this person who he presumes to be male, even though she's actually female, and dealing with it in just a very interesting, light-hearted manner. Um, there are a lot of differences between the original J-drama series, and I'm only really going to be talking about this version here. Um, the first live-action series that was made of the manga was actually in Taiwan. And then in 2007, we got this version here, and there was recently, in 2011, a remake of this series. It's supposed to be sort of an alternate universe one where they really make a lot of changes to the story. But this was my introduction to the entire Hanakimi thing, actually even before the manga, um, was this J-drama series here, watching that online and getting the DVDs. I absolutely loved it right from the start. There are major differences, though, between that series and the manga. Uh, the manga is not quite as goofy as the TV series. The manga has a little bit more of a realistic, more grounded approach to the subject matter, and the characters aren't quite as over-the-top and cartoonish as they are in the J-drama series. So whether you want to go with the manga, the original manga version, or you want to go with the live-action series, all depends on your taste. I love them both. Um, I actually prefer the over-the-top kind of cartoony style of the J-drama series, but I do think that the original version is a better written story, so I think this is the superior version. Here is the um, manga series here. Again, I think it is overall the superior telling of the story, but I did find the J-drama series a little bit more enjoyable, partially because it was my first experience with Hanakimi and largely because the main character is played by one of my all-time celebrity crushes. So that, of course, is a uh, huge influence on my decision. If you do get into the J-Drama series, it's a fairly short series, and it does have one special where they went back to the Valentine's Day episode and sort of cleared up a few things that weren't put into as much detail in the main series. It's uh, definitely a necessity if you do like the series to get the uh, special. Again, it's, a, it's short, it's a little over an hour long, but it adds a lot of really needed detail to the story. Um, there are a few negatives though, like I said, it is way over the top, it is very cartoonish in a very typical Japanese J-drama style. They tend to be either incredibly heavy and melodramatic, or when they're lighter in tone, it's a little bit overboard. It's a little too goofy, and again, like I said, cartoonish, with a little bit of a, a lack of realism. And this does switch kind of in between the two. It's, it can be, if you're not used to J-drama, it can be kind of off-putting, where sometimes you'll see the guys, you know, a bunch of teenage guys in this all-boys school kind of running around like crazed monkeys, and then five minutes later there's this really, really sad, dramatic scene. And if you're not used to that style, it might be a little hard to get into. So for you, I would say, again, probably start with the manga, read it, and see if you really enjoy the story. And if you enjoy the story, then go ahead and look for the J-drama, but if you're already a fan of this style of Japanese storytelling, go ahead and check this out first. Again, as I said, it depends all on your experience and your taste. I, I love them both, but I prefer this for certain reasons. I do have to say, though, the thing that the drama series does best is actually not the main character, it's actually the character of Nakatsu. That actor did a fantastic job, he got the character down pat, it's the character who I feel changed the least from the manga. Um, Sano in the live action series is depicted as being a little more somber, a little more of the emo pretty boy than in the actual manga series. Um, and some people might not like that, I kind of liked it, you know, I, my wife hated it, she absolutely despises Sano. 
あと一人は佐野お前やれ俺パスもう怪我治ってんだろおいもう中津アキレス腱切ったぐらいでハイジャンから手引きやがってよマジで意味わかんねえお前みたいな単細胞には一生かかってもわかんねえよみじんこはい送検が買いましたかったじゃないかよ別に仲良くなんか佐野無理かこんな腰抜けいらないっすよ<笑>やっぱ俺走っちゃうかなおおそっか<笑>いいんじゃねえかちょっとえそんな簡単に決めていいんですかだってボクシングいいないいな,いいなもうはいじゃあ5人決まりだ解散<笑>ごい。Uh, where I think it's purposeful in a way that it leads you to believe one thing is far more likely, but it leaves it just open enough that the reader can kind of fall for either. I think it tends to happen a lot with shoujo manga and a lot of very、um, female focused, female audience focused、uh, J drama series where it might give you a very, some give you a very clear, like she ended up with this person, he ended up with him or her or whatever. But a lot of them do tend to have that. It seems like this is sort of the answer, like where things ended up, but it leaves it open just enough where you're not going to upset fans who,、um, something that's like a love story, you could fall in love with you know, either person or whoever you know, the love interests are. And if you set up an ending where it's not 100% definitive, you're gonna, not going to upset fans who maybe were in love with the guy who was left out, the loser at the end, or the girl who was left out, or whatever. Uh, I see that as a common theme in、like, maybe at least、like、half of the shoujo I've、like、read and J, you know, J drama s- stories that I've watched on TV. But no matter how you slice it,、uh, Hanakimi is an amazing manga series. It's a very fun, energetic TV series.、Um, it's very well written. It's a, it's a story that has been kind of done before, but not quite in this way.、Uh, it's very entertaining. And again, no matter what, it's a. Beautiful romantic series with a great sense of humor that I feel like anyone who can appreciate that will really enjoy. Go ahead and check it out. See if you can find the、uh, live action series you can find online occasionally.、Um, go ahead and check that out or go ahead and get the manga. The, we, the manga we did get that is in English, we did get that, but we have not received any of the J drama series or even the Taiwanese version. But you can often find some fan subtitle versions online or You know, check on eBay or Amazon, you can find、um, translated DVDs. I will warn you, though, that a lot of the translated DVDs, the subtitles can be pretty terribly translated. And occasionally, especially like in this one here, the, the main series, the last two episodes, it completely just went downhill. For some reason, the quality of the subtitles, the last two episodes, just dropped and it was unintelligible. So if you don't speak any Japanese at all, You might want to read the manga series first to get yourself familiar with the story, and then go ahead and check out some of the live action TV series. And again, I do suggest looking up the Japanese 2007 series right here. Check out this one. This is, to me, like the best version of Hanakimi.、Um, again, just because it was the first one and other reasons. But yeah, absolutely love it. Check it out. It's a fantastic series, and I'll leave you with this little bit of a clip. イケてるメンズが揃いに揃った魅惑の全寮制男子校大阪学園そこにアメリカから転校生がやってきた名前は芦屋瑞希性別は女そう彼女はとある目的のために男と偽って男子校に編入してきたのだ男になりすまして学園生活を送る水木に次から次へと降りかかる災難そし
てついに正体がバレてどうして男子校に女の子がいるのかな？